Hello! In this educational video, I'm going to show you how to perform network optimization in any logistics. The purpose of the optimization in our example scenario is to find the locations for the prospective distribution centers with the lowest transportation and site-related costs. Here we have four regions recommended for setting up distribution centers, which were given to us by the Greenfield analysis at the previous step. But GFA can suggest areas that are not feasible, like mountains or oceans. So, in the network optimization experiment that we will now conduct, we'll have much better accuracy for more feasible results. All of the distribution centers that we have now placed on the map are located in real cities where we can build or rent a DC. Each area proposed by the GFA has three possible distribution center options manually suggested by us, and network optimization will show us which DC from each zone we should select. I've already created a network optimization experiment for our demo. The objectives for this optimization can be found on the right and include minimization of transportation, site opening and order processing costs, and you can also include additional expenses as other costs. The main criterion for the optimization is the number of desired sites. Here, we're limiting our search to between 3 to 5 DCs. During optimization, we consider all DC options, except for the inexact locations suggested by Greenfield Analysis. Also, you can specify the group of destinations for which sources are searched. Here, we have just one possible destination, which is customers. Let's run the optimization. The calculations will take some time, because the experiment has a lot of iterations. It's searching for DC combinations, three to five of them in each case. And as you can see, the results of these calculations appear as they're ready. Let's jump to the experiment's end in order to shorten the demo. When the optimization ends, you see the results displayed here in the table. As you can see, the best set of distribution centers includes San Angelo, Sacramento, Nashville, and Hazleton. We can take a look at the paths between the customers and the distribution centers. And here, we can see that the paths now use real roads obtained from the online route providers. Let's check the input data for this optimization. Similarly to the Greenfield analysis, we have locations, customers, product characteristics, and demand per customer per product. In addition to these, we have the table called Paths, where we have filled transportation cost calculation parameters that, in our case, includes weight of the goods, travel distance, and a multiplier. Now, let's convert the best set of sites into a new scenario for further analysis. In this new scenario, in addition to the specified input data, the optimization has automatically added data on site inventory and sourcing and grouped the objects. Now we can test various what-if scenarios using the supply chain model we have. For example, we can change the default unlimited inventory policy to a real one and run a simulation to test how the supply chain would work in Dynamics. Or we could add suppliers to this model to see how the supply chain would operate as a whole and calculate additional costs. This will be discussed in the next videos. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to use any logistics to solve your supply chain challenges, feel free to contact us by email.